Dotto Lagoon behind me. And what's notable is this drainage ditch, which clearly was designed to take rainwater from the street and allow it to go into the lagoon. But the water flow today at high tide is going the opposite direction. It's bringing water from the lagoon onto the street. And the reason is that the lagoon is extra high because this is a peak high tide, sometimes called a king tide. And over the last few decades, as sea level rises, although most haven't noticed it, but gradually the water level in the street gets higher and higher at high tide. And today at 11.17 a.m., it happens to be September 13th, 2022, but is a fairly high, high tide. In October and November, two months from now, it will be even higher. We know that from the tide tables. What's changing is sea level. Sea level is raising the heights of the tides. Climate change or global warming is the phenomenon where the earth is getting warmer because we're trapping more carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, which is warming the planet, the atmosphere and the ocean, melting the polar ice caps, particularly Greenland and Antarctica. And as those mile thick ice sheets and glaciers melt, like a drip filling the bucket, they are adding to ocean height. Urban planners and residents have always had to plan for storms, extreme tides, heavy rainfall, and other flood events. What's different now is that base sea level is rising. We tend not to see it day to day, but it's raising the base level. And then when we get an extreme tide or a storm surge, it's even higher. But we're witnessing it here on this street today. The hotel entrance behind me has salt water on its doorstep. These cars are driving through salt water, which will badly damage their brake systems. This is all a result of the warming planet, melting ice, rising sea level, raising the high tide even higher.